Merry Christmas, oh, Merry Mary. Christmas. I did like two big air holes on either side. They don't need an you don't need an air hole, do you? <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Krishla. You guys, it is Christmas Day. I'm not really up to much today. I'm watching White Christmas in the background. I'm taking the boys for a W, right, Wolfie? And Storm. Yes, I am. But what I wanted to do today, I actually want to surprise one of the adoptive parents with their puppy. So I have a very, very close friend I've known for a long time. She's been very, very special to me and my family and Joey and the puppies. I've known her since I first moved to LA and they are adopting one of the girl puppies. So we're not sure which one yet, but I am gonna let her have the puppy for Christmas morning when her kids come down and you know open gifts and everything. That's essentially her gift to them. They lost their female golden retriever a few months ago earlier this year. She's such a sweet dog. Her name was Matilda and she was, I think she was like 14 or something. She lived a very long life. So I'm heading to Joey's right now. It's 7 a.m. I'm gonna go change the puppies, feed them, let them poop, let them do their thing. And then I'm going to build a little gift box, wrap it, and then I'm gonna put some holes in it, obviously. I'm gonna take maybe Yarrow or Rose, one of the girls, and then I'm gonna go drop them off at their doorstep. They're gonna pick them up, have the puppy for like an hour, and celebrate Christmas, and then bring it back to Joey's. So let's go surprise somebody with the puppy for Christmas. Over here, put you over here. Ooh. All right, silence. You need to settle down. Oh, you need to settle down. You can't keep crying after me like that. No. Oh no, no jumpers. Hey, I'll come in there in a second. I'm almost done. Clean pen. Clean pen. Now I'm gonna come sit with you guys, okay? Okay, this is the best Christmas present. <laughs> hey guys. Oh my goodness, I love you too. I love you all so much. Hello. Where's Bo? I have a bone to pick up Bo. Bo, you ate an entire piece of shit this morning. I don't know whose it was, but he ate it. Is that bad? Like, is that normal? Why, I haven't seen any of the other puppies. You haven't eaten any poop. You haven't eaten any poop that I know of. You haven't eaten any poop. Aspen hasn't eaten any poop. She just barks. Gosh, you guys just love me so much. You really are obsessed with me. It's too much. Morning, Lark. Hello. She's going on a hike with my mom this morning. Hello. Hello. Oh, gives Lark gives kisses. So my mom's taking Lark and Storm on a hike. Hi. You guys always are asking where Lark is. Lark lives with my mom. Stormy. Yeah. Girl. Okay, so I have, hold on, let me turn down this movie. White Christmas is on, as always, of course. It's my Christmas movie of choice. So I have a little wrapping paper here. Went with a casual plaid. I took the top off this box, because I'm just gonna place her inside. I cut off the top, and I'm just gonna wrap this as well and place it on top. She'll only be in there for literally 10 seconds. I'm gonna ring the doorbell, pop her on there, and then, and I'm gonna poke some air holes in there as well, but she'll be fine, because this will be cracked open. It's looking good so far. So this is what the box looks like. All wrapped up, I cut these nice air holes on both sides. I just wanna see what the ribbon will look like, so obviously, I will pop her in right when I get there, put her on the front doorstep, and tie this cute little bow. I'm so excited. Merry Christmas, Merry Mary. Christmas. Who is this? I have your piss. Oh, breakers. my piss pot, thank you. That's for you. <gasps> oh, look at her. Did fair. you do her hair this morning? Yes. Hi, is this a, a nice crimp? Oh my god, crimple. She's sleepy today. Yeah. Oh, good 
Yeah. I'm still deciding between Yarrow and. Oh, Winter you're Storm. still deciding. A Christmas wi- My Christmas wish is that you decide. Oh, the baby. So this is the box situation. So you'll unwrap it. And what's kind of gorgeous, I did like two big air holes on either side. A little card for them. They don't need an, you don't need an air hole, do you? One. And then this just slides open. Oh my god. Breathe. Breathe in. And then we're gonna put a little pad in here that fits this box. She'll be in there for a hours. She'll be in here for six to eight hours and we're gonna, sh- we, she'll be in here from six to eight hours and we're gonna ship <laughs> you transit land. I'm obviously not putting her in the box right now. I'm gonna hold her while I get there. Maybe I, I want just, her. Maybe. Stop it. Stop it right now. Merry Christmas, Mary. Merry Did Christmas. Did you open your gifts? Not, no, I haven't yet. Oh, I was wondering why I didn't receive a thank you text oh, yet. Oh, I haven't seen it. Wow. I, didn't, I mean, I've I didn't bring you baking. anything. Oh. Wait, I also have a ribbon for her. Oh, Wolfie's in the back and he's very upset. He's like, I'm not getting out. Uh, you know what? We should put the puppy in the back. <laughs> Wolfie, we have a surprise Wolfie, for you. Wolfie, we have a gift. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, Wolfie. Wolfie, up. Wolfie, come Wolfie, on. Get up. Come on, get up there. We have a surprise for you, Wolfie. Wolfie, just for you. Merry Christmas, Wolfie. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas, Wolfie. Oh, Merry Christmas, Wolf. Wolfie, oh. give a kiss. Wolfie, give a what kiss. What is that? I don't know. I don't want to say that. Wolfie hates puppies. Oh. Oh. Hey. Wolfie. Lay down next to Fern. Cut off. Oh, oh, that's, that's sweet. sweet. <gasps> she loves Uncle Wolf. She wants to nurse. He's like, please get me out of here. This is the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> Wolfie, come on, shake that tail. Oh, Wolfie. good boy. Give her a little kiss. Wait, why do I love her? She's added to the Christmas list. No, yeah. no. You want a red? She's oh, she's red, but she'll be later. Yeah, she's, she's a good ready. girl. She's so good. Let's she take off a little bow. Let's take this stinky thing off. Stinky. <gasps> Large. I know, but it's gonna be gorgeous and glamorous. You'll see. Okay. She's like, why are you putting me in drag? Oh, that's cute. And I do not condone. I do not condone Christmas puppies, but this is a very close friend of ours, who we've known who I've known for so long. They just lost their retriever a little while ago. How sweet she is. Yeah, I mean, we're not surprising her. She's literally adopting yeah, she one. she is adopting. It's more for her kids. Yeah. Yeah, you sweet? She's like, who so are you? Oh, sweet. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh my God, why is she so precious? Oh! <laughs> not I've one brain cell. i so beautiful. Okay, bring me her deodorizer. Okay. okay, little girl. Are you ready? Are you ready? You guys, I, I'm getting like emotional because all I ever wanted was for these puppies to go to the best homes and to know that they're going to somebody who's so special to me and my life and my like beginning years here in Los Angeles means the world to me. And I know she's gonna be so loved and I'm just like, if I think about it too much, I'm gonna cry, but. Look at this sweet little angel. Look at her. Good girl. I know you might not be the one that they pick, but in spirit, the wolf is crying in the back. In spirit, you're going to the best home ever. All right, let's put you in your little box and let's go deliver you. I am not gonna cry about this. I'm literally gonna see her in an hour. Uh, Wolfie and I are going for, Wolfie, do you wanna just tell them? Because clearly you're crying about something back there. He's so excited. We are going for a little hike right now. Hey, 
And if you're asking about who I'm spending Christmas with, I'm spending it with myself. I am seeing my mom later. So my mom and I are very similar. If we don't have like hardcore plans, it's just like business as usual. She's a Scorpio, I'm a Sagittarius. We're very, but hey, 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 hey. We both kind of do our own thing. And I know it may sound weird, but it's just like, we're both kind of just like lone wolves, you know? And we didn't make any crazy plans this year. You know, with the puppies, things were just busy. And I just like, wasn't really feeling super, super festive. I did decorate a little bit, obviously, so you guys saw that but yeah i'm just kind of chilling this year you know i'm so tired and burnt out like so many people are so yeah i'm going on a little hike right now and then my mom is on a hike actually with storm and lark and she's on her little hike and then we're gonna meet up and go to malibu for dinner later and walk the beach and take the dogs and we're gonna walk so that'll be nice we'll spend time together i might go pick up monty i'm not sure just because i know she wants to go to the beach and run around so that'll be nice but we're gonna go on a hike right now so i'll see you guys after the hike wolfie <gasps> wolfie come here you happy boy yeah he's getting in all his sniffs on that gorgeous hike here couldn't ask for a better day wolf wolfie Say hi to everyone. Hey, Wolf. There, he said hi. <laughs> wow, look at this view. It's such a gorgeous, clear day. See downtown LA over there. Channel Islands and Catalina's over there. And then on the other side of these mountains is Malibu. And then this is the whole valley. This is where all like Sony Pictures, all the studios are, Warner Brothers. How gorgeous look, you can even see the snow. Got a plane landing right there. Very nice airport. 75 and sunny. We're lucky, huh, Wolf? Okay, not bad. Hour long walk. Two and a half miles. Wolf, you got some good exercise in, buddy. Okay, quick little break to talk about Feet. You guys have been in my DMs on Instagram asking me where this hoodie is from. So it is from Feet. It's so comfortable. It feels like you're wrapped up in a blanket. It's so nice and warm. This is the crew neck in the new olive green color. I have the zip up, also in the olive green color that they just sent over, and then the sweats, which I'm really excited to try. They look so comfortable. But Feet actually gave me a code, Prada50 at checkout. You guys can get 50% off your order, get all your shopping for the holiday holidays done so definitely check them out they have sets for everybody and they're so comfortable I've been living in their clothes I'm obsessed so definitely check out feet and use code Prada 50 at checkout and get 50% off your order they're so cute comfortable great quality and would make a great gift anyways I had three or four packages that I was waiting for to deliver Christmas presents today to people I had one for my mom I had one for Joey and they had just gotten in late and I'm so upset it was the cutest sweater from this brand, it was the Golden Retriever sweater from Kiel James Patrick, because Joey's gonna have a puppy. And I literally got the last one, so that, they he drops them like literally rarely. They're so beautiful and handmade, and they're made in, I think, Rhode Island or Vermont or something. And then I got my mom something, and there were a couple other packages, like sentimental things. And one I know is a gift for my aunt, and then she shipped me something for my birthday. But people just like come through the hills or come anywhere, so watch your packages wherever you live, whether you're safe, hey, stop it. Whether you live in a safe area or a crazy area or you're in a gated community or wherever, like people target the holidays, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that week after and New Year's because they know people are traveling, they're not around, they're not gonna be as like vigilant about getting their packages. I'm so annoyed, but who does? Losers, so annoying and so just the worst people ever. Well, no, Wolfie, stop it. But whatever, those things are replaceable to an extent. It's just, it's just sad that people do that because I live in a very, very safe, sweet, quiet area and literally nothing's ever happened here. Wolfie, come here. No, no, you stay. You stay, buddy. Anyway, so just keep an eye out, put out a little ring camera, make sure when your packages get delivered and you get the notification, take them in right away. Don't take any chances, don't leave anything in your mailbox. People are whack and evil and nasty. I'm gonna go write some cards, drop them off at Starbucks, and then I'm gonna come back and just put her around. I don't know, I love Christmas day and the day after Christmas to just like chill, watch movies, organize, be cozy. And I'm just gonna rest, gonna rest the rest of the day. Just like Wolfie here, huh? Yeah, you're just resting. And then we're gonna get dinner with mom later. Oh, look at him. Stormy. <whistles> Wolfie's ready for to attack. Look at the sunset, you guys. It's gorgeous. Storm. Come on, you little bitch. He's gonna get him now. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. And 
absolutely gorgeous night. Fog settling in, it's so pretty. Wow. I could walk on this beach all night long. It's funny, um, when I first moved to LA, even when I had literally nothing, I would, when I only had a bike and I would take the bus everywhere, for like the first year and a half, two years, I would come to either Santa Monica, Venice, or up here in Malibu and just walk the beach, go swimming. It was like the cheapest thing you could do. And it was so calming and, I don't know, something's always uh, pulled me to the water. I really love it. It's so just zen. That crane. Storm, come here! Or a pelican flying above the water. Come on, boys! It's taunting him. Can you guys see it? Oh my god, it's huge. But while I have a little daylight left, I just wanted to take a moment and uh, uh, thank you guys. I'm really appreciative for you guys watching the series, being invested, getting to know me more. It's been really fun. And I know it's gonna start getting emotional for me because in the next you know, two weeks, the puppies are going to their forever homes, which is crazy. It went by so quick. And I think the reason why it went by so fast is because honestly, I live at my own place. Joey lives at my own place. I go there every single morning and it kind of cuts the work in half. So I'm not doing the full boatload of work, but we're splitting it. It's been wonderful. And I'm just like thinking going into the new year, what things I wanna change. I don't really do like, resolutions it's just like things I want to change about my current life or things I want to do better with I think one of those things I sound stupid but postmates I used to cook all the time like even like last year but postmates I deleted it off my phone because I'm I don't want to use that I don't want to use door I don't use DoorDash but postmates is done I kind of stopped drinking coffee but I had a few Starbucks drinks I want to continue like on my health journey, just being more active, working out more, which I have been doing. And then the, really the big one, it's kind of like a general thing, is I just want to put myself first more. I know that sound, can sound a little like, I don't know, self-absorbed, but I feel like my whole life I have put others first and friends and relationships and just people in my life thinking that that would keep them and make me like a better friend like I always thought like I had to be available for everybody all the time I thought that was the definition of being a good supportive friend because I'm super hands-on but what it really did in the long run it I was just burning the candle at both ends and I'm just like always tired always exhausted mentally physically emotionally drained all the time I've always had a great sense of self but I think what that mindset and that that behavior was doing to me was it wasn't allowing me to continue growing as a person and maturing and digging deeper into my myself and you know as I'm getting older I'm just like realizing that I want to put myself first and everybody else can come secondary and third in my life that's not to say like I'm gonna stop caring about friends and I'm gonna stop being myself I just like I want to dedicate more time and energy and love and devote it to myself and bettering myself and being the best version of me so I can be the best version of me for other people too. You know, I feel like I've always gone through life not half-assing stuff, but just doing everything all at once. And it's exhausting and it's tiring and it's just so draining that I'm ready to really just truly focus on myself and make myself more the priority. I've done that with everything. Romantic relationship, friendships. I'm just tired of that. I want to rely on people more. That just strengthens relationships and if you are able to pass off some of that work to other people just have more time for yourself you know you don't always need to be the strongest person in the room i'm tired of seeing other people who are less smart less successful less funny less all these other things achieve such amazing things when i can be doing that and more and that's not to say they, they don't deserve it but it's just like tired of it I'm just like it it's also like I feel like my confidence is back and I feel really good and I want to be that version I feel like you guys have you're only seeing a little bit of that person and I'm excited to get them back but yeah I'm done preaching right now and I know you guys can barely see me in this light but I'm excited for this next year I'm excited for the people it's gonna bring into my life I'm excited for the opportunities that are to come I'm excited for projects I've been working on for so long finally seeing the light of day and I'm, I'm 
excited to see my star shine personally, romantically, professionally, all the Lees. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. And I'm excited for you guys to stick around after the puppies just to see all the cool shit that I'm gonna be working on. But I love you so much. Make sure to leave this place better than how you found it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Love you so much, bye.